So did you buy a car and come to find out it has a lien on it? Maybe you bought a car on Craigslist, Facebook, even a car dealership and found out later that the title was blocked because there's a lien filed on the title. We hear this all the time, talking to some of our sales staff earlier this week, and a couple of the calls that came in were kind of troubling about these liens on vehicles, what people are running into. One of the examples was a guy bought a car from a dealership, a licensed automotive dealership, and the dealership gave him the runaround on getting the title. And come to find out, there's a lien filed on that title from a prior owner. The last owner of the car still has an open lien. And normally when that happens, it's only because the bank hasn't yet recorded the lien release. They deleted the lien. But in this case, it turns out there's still money owed on the car. It's not that the loan was paid off and they just didn't file it yet. There's still money owed on the car. So what do you do in a scenario like that? At the same time, there may be a case where the loan is charged off or it's a write-off or it's non-performing. What do you do? Well, the answer is simple. First, what you want to do is request a lien release from the lien holder. Look, if there is a lien filed on a title record in a state, no state is allowed to issue a title until that lien is removed from the title record. Now, if there's money owed, it's still possible to get that lien removed. You have to ask the lien holder. In many cases, if it's listed as a charge off or a write off or delinquent or non-performing, if you ask the lien holder in the right way, you have a pretty good chance of getting that lien removed. How do you do it? Well, first thing you do is don't do it by phone. Don't do it by email. Don't do it by text message. The only way you want to do it is in writing. And we've covered this before. You want to send a request to that lien holder in writing along with all the documents that are needed for them to remove the lien and ask them to sign it and mail it back to you. And we've covered that in other videos, so we're not going to go too far into that. What about a car that, and, and look, if the loan is paid off, they'll sign it. If the charge off, they'll probably sign it. The only time that they usually don't do it is if there's an active, open pursuit of collection against that. And by collection, I don't mean that it's in collections. I mean the loan is being paid and the loan is current. There's actively uh, recovery of those funds. So you do want to try to get the lien release because if you don't get it, you'll never get a title. So you have to at least try that. The other backup option is you can file for a court order title where if the lien holder won't help you, you go over their head. You file a petition with the court in the county where you reside to ask a judge to intervene and have them wipe out the lien. And based on your affidavit of you bought the car and your bill of sale, you're going to ask the judge to, to help you out. They may or may not, depending upon your scenario, but you have to do that because here's the thing. If you don't get the lien holder to sign or a judge, you're out of luck. Whatever you paid for that vehicle is out of luck. And in the case of the customer that you know, our salesperson was telling us about, they're even in worse shape because at first we thought that they paid cash for the car because they told our sales agent that they gave the dealership a check. We'll come to find out that check came from their bank. They got a loan for that car from their bank and the bank's not getting a title. So now not, not only do they not have a title, but they still have to pay their bank the new loan. They're not going to get out of their loan just because the seller ripped them off. And this dealership supposedly um, has a lot of complaints against it for doing the same thing, not paying off cars, putting cars with liens on it on the road, and not giving titles. So make sure that if you go to a dealership to buy a car, before you pay the money or even finance it, make sure that they show you the title. You don't have to have it in your hands. They can't give it to you because they still have to process it to transfer in your name. But ask the dealer to show you the title. If you have... A vehicle that you purchased and didn't get a title there's some options you can use to try to resolve that problem you can check out our website at cartitles.com about what those might be but this whole idea of cars with liens is really increasing we've seen it going back you know 10 15 years but nothing like this this is as bad as it gets with liens on cars for car buyers that are innocent victims of some scammer whether it's a private seller a dealership or even an auction a lien on a car is something you have to overcome. Unfortunately, there's pathways to, to approach it. You want to make sure you pursue those so you're not out of luck and out of your money.